So Louis, we were just saying this is the hottest day of the year, everybody's recording it. What's it like to play football in that? <laughs> it was tough, I'm not going to lie. Um, yeah, so hot, the conditions have been tough, but same for both teams. Um, the surface didn't really help either. Um, I think it's the longest you know, pitch grass I've played on since probably being at school. Um, I don't know. I don't know why it's this long. To be fair, they like to play as well. They like to play, um, you know, football and get it from the back and stuff, and which I did like from them. Um, but no, it's um, like I say, it's been a hot day. Good workout for everyone. I think we've come out unscathed, no injuries. So um, that's the main main thing. Um, the heat, the grass, it doesn't matter. The lads have put the effort in. There's a lot of attention to detail going on at the moment. Yeah, definitely. There's this one thing we will not be able to do in the gaffer is you know slack off and not press and not work hard. Whether it's you know, two degrees in December or, um, you know, 26, 27, whatever it is today. So, um, you know, I don't, I don't think you <laughs> really cares what, what uh, temperature it is. You know, um, working out something that you've, you've, you have to do here. Yeah. Scoring goals, keeping clean sheets, it's only pre-season, but it still matters, doesn't it? Yeah, be all, be all and end all, the result doesn't really matter, but it is nice to win, um, you know, and score goals. You know, got people looking really sharp and in front of goal and, you know, uh, Zach again today scored you know set him up and you know you see that that quality he's got on other people you know being ruthless with it taking chances Manny took his goal really well um, happy for him you know because he, he worked uh, worked the line well got all of it and you know um, and did work really hard so no it, it's good um, you know it's good to be ruthless this early on um, you know and we've got another couple of weeks uh, you know to keep improving it and before the, the season starts testament to the fitness level you've jumped from 45 minutes everybody on tuesday night to the minimum for the first team 85 minutes today probably the same over at heaven again that's good to see yeah no it's good this you sometimes you just need to jump in at the deep end and you know that's sort of what we've done and like i mentioned earlier the, the main the main thing is people coming out you know injury free um and there's, there's no substitute for playing you know minutes and getting like if 90 um, you know obviously i was probably five six minutes short myself and zach but um there's, there's no substitute for that so no no it's good um you know i'm gonna go again um tuesday at um sorry where are we at tuesday yeah Charlie. Charlie, and then obviously there's a game wednesday i don't know how it'll work at this point but um you know lads will be looking to do the same again get as many minutes as possible and you know keep getting as close to uh, you know match sharp and fitness that they can be you've said it already it's all about building up to that colchester game isn't it on 7th of august yeah definitely um i feel sometimes too much is put on the first game of the season you know like it's some like smaller cup final because you know you've, you've you've you know fans and everyone's missed it for so long but um, that's the one we're working towards, um, you know, and then we'll be straight into the thick of it, you know, the Tuesday, uh, the, the cup game, and then and then, you know, going going on there from the league, and we want to be as sharp and as as you know as good as we possibly can be come come that Colchester game to, to start as as well as possible. Penrith and Workington, we've seen the fans here. How much does it mean to the lads to hear that? That yourself getting Louis Givers away, it puts a smile on the face, doesn't it? Yeah, it is. You feel a bit awkward, at the, but no, it is. It is good. You know, obviously we've we've missed the fans. Um, you know they do give you that extra boost sometimes and even here today like you say it's, it's only a bit of fun but um no it is, it is nice it's good for the fans as well just to be back you know gives them you know, this is this is their club this is what they, they want to be watching us and they want to be watching us doing well so um you know i'm sure they probably enjoyed the sun and the heat a little bit more than we did reached a great milestone last season louis you've done pre-seasons you know what it's all about does it ever get any easier do you ever enjoy it anymore or is it, or is it just something to get through uh, i think you just have to embrace it you know a lot of the old school running if you like from probably when I did start is it's probably not it's not the same anymore you know you don't just go running up mountains and all that sort of stuff a lot of it is football based so mentally it's probably a little bit easier because you've got a ball at your feet but it, deep down it's probably probably similar so uh, no you just have to you know I always say half, half, half of running is in, is in your head um, I say to lads like when you're doing the running if, you, if you're at the front of the pack you're only five yards in front of everyone else but you feel you know mentally so much like I'm flying here comparison to if you feel like you're chasing at the back so uh, not little things it's just um, you know I've done loads of pre-seasons now but now you just have to um, embrace it and you know enjoy it. Fans are looking at the quality in the squad maybe there's more numbers to come but there's a lot of quality here are you lads in the in the dressing room excited? Oh definitely yeah I think we've brought some you know quality quality in even though we've not signed that many players um, I think Gaffer's obviously just wanted to keep the, the you know the, the, the main core and the nucleus of the squad last year that did you know, well for such a long period of the season and, and you know, just add to that and um, I think you can see already, you know, um, Zach in particular, he's got that extra bit of, you know, quality. Um, even though, no, no um, you know, no offence to the size we're playing, it's 
not going to be the same in, in, in our league but now you can see that you know we've, we've brought some quality in and you know there's, there's quality in every position and if you do pick up a niggle an injury uh, suspension there'll be someone you know chomping at the bit and, and who can step in with just you know just as much quality I feel like myself getting sunburned so last one from me really looking forward to the start of the season what's your own targets for this year Luke? Um, just want to go better one one better than last year um, because of the way the season panned out and you know the way, where we were come second of January it almost felt like like a bit of a failure towards the end and that's just being honest about it the way you know we went from you know top of the league to finishing tenth but if if you if you take stock and you look at it it's you know from where we where we where we were season previous you know you, we, we've got to say you know. We've we've done okay. It's just obviously the way it, the way it went. It doesn't feel like that at the time, but um, we'll, we'll most certainly be looking to you know go go, go one better this year, um, and you know be be right up there. We 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 don't see why we can't with with you know the quality we've 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 kept and um, quality we've we've brought in. Thanks for your time.